What is going on everyone? It's Body by Natalie here. I hope you've been enjoying your quarantine situation wherever you're at. I know right now has been a tough time for all of us and it's really stressful, you know what I mean? Especially diet wise and workout wise. And if you're someone right now who's struggling with the diet portion of it from staying at home, then this video was made for you because I want to talk about my own struggles with binge eating and mindless snacking and I want to explain three to four different strategies that you can use and start implementing today to kind of get back on track and set yourself into a routine again. For me, I'm a coach and I binge eat. I still binge eat and I'm not telling you this because I'm not saying like there's no hope, you're never going to cure yourself, but it's not so much curing yourself like in my situation it's having a mindset shift so instead of feeling guilty and hate myself and restricting and stuff every time I overeat it's more so okay I overate I can't feel guilty about this it's just food now what can I do to get back on track and eating at home is hard even for me because I'll fall back into my old habits you know I'll finish work sit on the couch put on a show or a movie and then just see all the food and think about all the food in my kitchen and I used to be constantly thinking about food and still to this day sometimes I slip up and and that's normal that's human we eat we like food I love desserts <laughs> and when I typically overeat I, I kind of overeat on the sweets but I've been doing this for so long now that I've started to recognize patterns before I overeat, during, and after. I recognize patterns now throughout the whole thing. And once you get that down, it's a lot easier to prevent it, just feel better about yourself after it, and not restricting so much because you know, logically, it was one night, one day, whatever, even a week, if you overeat and fall off track. You can always get back on track. You can't fuck this up, you can't fail at living because <laughs> everyone lives. I just want to tell y'all if you're struggling th with this right now just know that you don't have to be perfect. Even the coaches, even the trainers, even the people you look up to struggle with this. It's a common human thing to like food and want to eat. So first of all I want you to recognize and understand that it's completely normal and common and okay if you slip up sometimes or want to eat a little bit more. The second thing I want y'all to, to know is you can still make progress and overeat and slip up because like I said before, you can always get back on track. I lost 65 pounds and transformed my body. Like I still overeat. There's still days where I love to indulge and sometimes it's intentional, sometimes it's not intentional. Like I'm sure you know sometimes you just zone out, your mind goes blank and you just eat and eat and eat and then after the fact you're like, well shit shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I have those times and you can still make progress while doing that. It's just the mindset shift is the most important part to be able to get back on track and keep making progress. Now I want to talk about three action steps you can take to get into that mindset and start this transformation. So the first one, I have my phone <laughs> so I don't forget because I know I can go off on tangents. First one is structure your day. If you're not used to staying at home all day like you are now probably during quarantine, you're going to be around food a lot more often and you're going to have a lot more chances to slip up just because you're around that environment more. And maybe you don't have a set schedule, you know, breakfast, go to work, lunch break, get back to work dinner. You don't have a set schedule because you're just sitting around at home. So you need to make yourself a schedule. And I actually had to do this because I work from home. I'm an online coach and usually I just stay at my house and I have to now because of this whole thing. Sometimes I'll even set alarms to, rem to remind myself to drink water. And if you're someone who, you know, wakes up 
hits hits work works all day and then you know three four five o'clock rolls around and you're like shit I haven't ate anything all day and you're starving and you end up like wanting and craving everything in your kitchen an easy solution is set alarms and have meals periodically throughout the day when you don't have a plan and you don't have structure it's a lot easier to feel anxious or nervous or just say oh fuck it whatever I'll do it another day really try to lay out your day and and pick times where you're gonna eat snack have a dessert even drink a little bit maybe so plan out your day the second thing that I want to share with y'all is find something other to do than just sit around and wait for your next meal especially on the weekends when you don't have to work if you are spending all day just thinking about food and your mind is like consumed with eating and the scale and progress then find something to do to distract yourself from all that fucking craziness come outside it's getting so nice out it's getting warmer at least where i'm at go outside go for a walk get into some more work read a book like find something that you enjoy and can get focused on instead of finding something to eat or thinking about food one by jordan syatt and he came up with the 20 minute rule well i don't know if he came up with it but that's who I learned it from, so I'm gonna give him credit. If you're craving something and you're thinking to myself, I shouldn't have that, I know I'll spiral out of control, I just ate, I'm not hungry. If you know that it's something you're craving and you don't actually need it, think about it, wait 20 minutes. Really try to break free of whatever state you're in. So if you're sitting on the couch watching TV and you're craving something, you know, get up walk around take some deep breaths dance jump around like move your body move out of your physical and mental state whatever state that is that you're craving that food do something else wait that 20 minutes and then if you want it go ahead and eat it chances are you're gonna probably talk yourself down from it and not even want it anymore and the third method that I really want y'all to understand is even if you do slip up practice forgiving yourself practice you know after the meal think about how you're feeling think about why you ate that think about were you even hungry think about the emotions and the actions that went through before the meal during the meal and after the meal so that the next time it happens you can maybe be a little better at one either preventing it or getting back on track after it happens and I know it's easier said than done like oh I slipped up whatever get back on track I know that mental shift is hard at first which is why I say it takes practice slipping up and getting back on track over and over and over again to learn and understand that you can always get back on track and you can make progress by not being perfect and the more you do it the more you're gonna just subconsciously be like okay I slipped up gotta get back on track because you either quit or you keep trying and if you're watching this video right now I know you're one of those people who want to keep trying you have come so far you have tried and practiced and maybe have made some progress already or even if you haven't made progress and you're just starting today is the first day of your weight loss journey that's fucking incredible you're trying you're doing something to improve your life improve your mental health improve your body so just think about what you're doing what your goals are what think about the big picture is that one slip up that one night gonna ruin your progress for the rest of your life no <laughs> probably not and I'm, I'm saying this because I dealt with literally 10 years of binging slipping up getting back on track day after day week after week it was horrible y'all I was living in hell and coming from that I'm just able to wrap my head around it better and mentally have these breakthroughs where I'm like okay whatever I can get back on track and start preventing them now because back in the day I couldn't I had no clue how to prevent them I would just go blank eat a shit ton of food and then hate myself after now after doing that over and over and over again and trying to understand why this is happening and overcome it I can prevent them I can consciously agree to them if I do want to slip up I understand the consequences and I understand logically what would happen to me physically if I gain weight if I just feel gross and and upset and stuff I know logically that's from that because I know that I can 
shape what I'm going to do after it happens, which is why I say practice, practice, practice doing this so you know your exact methods and thought processes on how to overcome this and keep getting back on track. You will get there. It doesn't matter how fucking long it takes. It could take 10 years like me, it could take 10 weeks. You know what I mean? So everyone's timeline is different. And I know, again, I went off on a freaking tangent, but I'm just so passionate about this. And I'm so passionate because I thought for the longest time I would never be able to have this mindset. And I do now and it's because of all the things I just mentioned. And you can get here too, 100%. So just to recap, the first method is structure your day. You're less likely to just graze and pick, you know what I mean? And you can actually sit down, have a meal, feel full, and then just structure your day like you would a normal work day when you're out of the house. The second method is to distract yourself. Re focus your mind on something else besides food besides your next meal wait 20 minutes and after the 20 minutes if you still want it go ahead and eat it third method is to forgive yourself practice forgiveness and it gets easier and more preventable each time you do this and think about your feelings i really hope this video helps y'all out with mindless eating just bored stuck at home and gives you some hope and encouragement to really try your best to overcome this and i'm so fucking excited for y'all to do this i really am i have just chills right now just knowing from where i started from to where i am now it's just fucking amazing y'all and i'm so excited and happy that y'all are on this path to, to reaching that if you liked this video if you can relate to my story at all please give it a thumbs up comment below if any a part of my message resonated with you at all and stay safe during this quarantine wash your hands bitch drink some water eat some veggies and we'll be okay we're gonna make it through i hope you all have a great rest of your weekend and i'll catch you later